all people that are upon the face of the earth. Can it get more planner than that? He chose you to be above all people on the face of the earth. Right. It don't get no planner than that. But because we broke his laws, we are at the bottom. Right. But he said, no, you're the head. Why do you think everything's out of whack? We broke God's laws. We choose to believe lies. We're fixed. Hey, yep, no doubt, bro. Get with us, man. We fixed with strong delusion. Second Thessalonians again, verse eleven. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eleven. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. Message. Uh oh. You all might be damned if you don't believe it's true. It's simple stuff. We just don't do it. Zechariah told us, the prophet Zechariah told us, two-thirds of us is not going to do it. It's just not. We're going to hear it. It's going to be like a sweet song. That's what Ezekiel tells us. And then, poof. So now you have to make up in your mind, are you going to actually do it? First thing you got to do is really start actually looking into it, right? We got technology today. We have the internet, right? Information at your fingertips. The question is, are you going to look into it? Are you going to say, you know what? I need to know what God wants me to do to please him. I'm going to help you out with one of them. Hold Thessalonians, drop everything, you'll get Ezra 10. I love this scripture. I read this all the time. I just love it. This is music to my ears. How can I please the Lord God? The rest of the nations hate this, though. You ain't going to never hear this read in, 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 in your churches. Read that. 10 and 1. Ezra chapter 10, verse 10. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, You have transgressed and have taken strange wives. Uh, Ezra said, You have transgressed and you've taken strange wives. The other nations hate this. I tell you, they spirits already know. As soon as they hear this, they may not even know what the Bible is about to say, but they just know in their spirit. Because I don't want to hear that. Hey, catch a flyer, bro. What's happening? Okay, catch a flyer from him. Read. And I'm taking strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel. We took strange wives. What's a strange wife? Come on, we know that. That's simple. Let's not be, you know, too extra about it. A wife of another nation. How do you know for sure, though, right? 7 and 3, Deuteronomy. Hold that. You know, it's in the Bible. We ain't saying making it up. We ain't going to take something and do like the pastor say, yeah, uh, 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 this is what it means. Uh, uh, uh. No. We let the Bible tell you what it means. That's what it means by here a little, there a little. So let's get a little something else from Deuteronomy 7. But remember, we read 6. We're going to read 3. That's why he told us we should be above all nations, because he didn't want us to do this. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and destroy thee suddenly. Great. But thus shall ye deal with them. You shall destroy their altars and break down their images and cut down their groves. Not my God. My God said that? God said you should destroy the rest of their stuff? Yeah. When we was going to take the land of, the land of Israel, he told us to go destroy that stuff, not to mix with them. Not to mix with none of them nations over there. The Canaanites, the Moabites, whoever you see. The Edomites. Don't mix with them. So now when we go back to where we was before. Drop, get out of there. Watch this. Now let's see what Ezra said. The priest who stood up and said what? Ezra chapter 10 verse 10. And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them. Ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives. Now when you walk through the city of Seattle. Do all of the, 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 what's this, region Puget Sound. You see transgression left and right, don't you? They happy too. I got me a wife of another nation. They happy about it. But some of these nations is not happy about it. Yeah. The so-called white man who the Bible calls the Edomite, a lot of them ain't happy about that. They don't want to mix race. They want to keep their race pure. You know? But here we are. The Israelite who was told not to mix race, we argue about it. What's wrong with that? Love is love. You can't control it. Not according to the Bible. Clear it up. That's why I said we don't know what love is according to the Bible. You just have to let it go. No. The, the priest said what again? And Ezra the priest stood up and said unto them, 
ye have transgressed and have taken strange wives to increase the trespass of Israel. To increase the trespass. We go more and more against God by taking wives of another nation. Great. Now therefore, so therefore what? Now therefore, make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers. Remember, I told you we have to learn how we go please the Lord, right? Make confession about that thing if you're the one who happened to do it. Ezra's talking to the Israelites. No. He's the priest. This is what the priest is supposed to be doing. Rebuking Israel. Correcting them. Making sure they do right by God. Our priests don't do that today. Don't do that. It's sad. Yeah. Pray. Watch this. Now, therefore, make confession unto the Lord God of your fathers. And do his pleasure. And do his pleasure. Let's see what God's pleasure is for the Israelites to do. And separate yourselves from the people of the land. Separate yourselves from the people of the land. Read. And from the strange wives. And from the strange wives. Likewise, you Israelite woman, from the strange husband. Read. Then all the congregation answered and said with a loud voice, As thou hast said, so must we do. So now the question is, will Israel say that today? Will Israel say, as thou sayest, so shall we do. Now you have to make that decision for yourself. You used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.